With an estimated 8.7 million different species living on our planet, there are strange things to see wherever you look. Some animals out there are more spectacular than you could even possibly imagine, and many of them you probably haven't even heard of before. So join me for today's video. I'm going to count down 15 of the strangest creatures in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. Thorny Devil the thorny devil, known scientifically as Moloch horridus, is a strange species of lizard that's native to the arid and semi-arid regions of Australia. They're known for their distinctive appearance, being covered in sharp spikes and several other highly unusual abilities. They have these small, flattened bodies that are covered in numerous spiny protuberances, and these spikes serve as a protective measure against predators, as they make it difficult for any aggressors to swallow them. As another protective measure, their skin is also camouflaged to blend in with the desert sand and rocks, making them almost invisible to anything else. One of the most surprising features of the thorny devil, though, is its ability to drink water through its skin. This is an essential adaptation for living in such a dry environment. It means that when it rains, the thorny devil can tilt its body to collect water, which then runs down grooves in its skin and is absorbed by capillary action. This water is then transported to its mouth, where it's consumed. Another weird behavior by this species is its unique way of moving. Now, rather than walking or running, it moves by a series of jerky movements, which is thought to help it conserve energy in its harsh environment. It's also an opportunistic feeder and will eat anything from ants to small reptiles and mammals. Despite these impressive adaptations, the thorny devil is threatened by habitat loss and degradation, as well as by the illegal pet trade. Conservation efforts are underway to protect this unique species and its fragile desert habitat, but there's concern that if things don't turn around soon, they may be at risk of extinction within the decade. Number 14. Okapi The Okapi, also known as the forest giraffe, is a unique and elusive mammal that inhabits the dense rainforests of Central Africa. It's the only living relative of the giraffe, but looks more like a cross between a giraffe and a zebra. Its striking appearance and secretive behavior has captured the attention of biologists and conservationists alike. The okapi has a dark brown coat with horizontal white stripes on its hindquarters and legs. It has a long prehensile tongue that it uses to strip leaves off branches, and a pair of ossicones, which are these tusk-like structures on its head that are covered in fur. Growing up to 6 feet or about 1.8 meters tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 700 pounds or 318 kilograms, it's a solitary animal that's most active at dawn and dusk, and it's incredibly agile and able to navigate through the dense forest with ease. The okapi is endemic to the Congo Basin and is found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where it's the national symbol and is protected by law. Unfortunately, habitat destruction and poaching have led to a significant decline in the okapi population, and it's now listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Number 13. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is a deep-sea species of shark that belongs to the family Mitsukurinidae that's known in particular for its unique appearance, such as its protruding snout, long jaws, and needle-like teeth. It is a rare species, both because it lives in the depths and its elusive nature. I mean, we really know very little about its biology and behavior, but occasionally specimens are found that help to reveal some of the mysteries. They're found in deep waters around the world, at around depths between 330 and 1300 feet, or about 100 and 400 meters, and they've been spotted off the coast of Japan, Australia, and the Atlantic Ocean. The sharks have long, slender bodies that can grow up to 12 feet, or about 3.6 meters long, and can weigh over 450 pounds, or about 204 kilograms. The species is often described as living fossils because they've remained virtually unchanged for millions of years, which is a testament to just how perfectly adapted they are for their environment. The most distinctive feature, the protruding snout, can extend up to 8 inches or 20 centimeters and contains special sensors that can detect prey in the dark depths of the ocean. Once it's located its prey, the goblin shark uses its long jaws to snap at it, and its needle-like teeth can slice through flesh or shells. Despite its grotesque appearance, the goblin shark is not considered a threat to humans. Its deep-sea habitat and avoidant nature make it unlikely to come into contact with humans in the first place. And even if they did, they're unlikely to see us as potential prey. They aren't targeted by commercial fisheries either, as they're not considered a viable target due to their low population density and limited commercial value, so their population numbers are believed to be stable. Number 12. Sunda Kalugo the Sunda Kalugo, also known as the Malayan Flying Lemur, is a unique mammal found in Southeast Asia, primarily in the forest of Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, and the Philippines. 
Despite its name, it's not actually a true lemur, and it's not capable of true flight, but instead has a unique gliding ability that allows it to soar from tree to tree. The Sunda Kalugo has a distinctive appearance with its large, saucer-like eyes and flap of skin that stretches between its limbs, which forms a gliding membrane called a patagium. This is what it uses to glide between trees and can extend for up to 27 inches or 70 centimeters, allowing the animals to cover impressive distances of up to 330 feet or 100 meters in a single jump. This ability helps the animal escape predators, find food, and travel between trees and the dense forest canopy. They're mainly nocturnal animals and spend most of their days curled up in tree hollows or other protected areas in order to rest and conserve energy. They are herbivores and feed on a diet of leaves, flowers, and fruits, and they scavenge under the cover of darkness to avoid most predators. The Sunda Kalugo is a solitary animal and is usually only seen in pairs during mating season. Females give birth to a single offspring, which they can carry in their patagium until it's mature enough to glide on its own, and the young will cling to its mother's belly while she glides through the trees. Currently not considered endangered, population numbers are threatened by habitat loss due to deforestation, though, as the forests are cleared for agriculture, logging, and human settlements. The Kalugo's habitat is shrinking, making it harder for the animal to find food and shelter, which, along with the fact that they're hunted for their meat and used in traditional medicine, has led to calls for them to become legally protected. Number 11. Lowland Streaked Tenric the lowland-streaked tenric is a small species of mammal that's found in the eastern rainforests of Madagascar. It belongs to the tenric family and is one of the most common and widespread types of tenric on the island. It's a small, spiny animal about the size of a hamster with a body length of just under 5 inches or about 12 centimeters and can weigh as much as 2.5 ounces or about 70 grams. They have these spiny coats of fur with a distinctive black and white stripe running down the back, which is where they get their name from, with the spines being modified hairs that can be raised or lowered depending on the animal's mood or level of threat. The lowland streak tenric is a nocturnal animal that spends most of its time foraging for insects, worms, and other invertebrates on the forest floor. It's a solitary animal and isn't very social, except during the breeding season, of course, which runs from June to October. During this time, the males will fight for the right to mate with the females, and the females will give birth to litters of about two to six young after a gestation period of about 60 days. One of the most unusual behaviors about lowland street tenrics is their ability to roll into a ball when threatened. They do this by tucking their heads and legs under their bodies and raising their spines, which makes it difficult and unappealing for predators to attack. Furthermore, when they do this, they make a series of high-pitched squeaks, something that hopefully further encourages predators to leave them alone and warns other tenrics in the area of a potential threat. Number 10. Mata Mata the Mata Mata is a bizarre species of turtle that's found in South America, primarily in the Amazon and Orinoco river basins. These reptiles are known for their unique appearance and behaviors, which makes them a popular subject for biologists and nature enthusiasts alike. The thing that stands out the most is the highly textured, wrinkled skin, which helps them blend in with their surroundings. Their shells are also highly specialized, too, with flattened, regular triangular shapes, numerous ridges, and bumps that provide additional camouflage. Not only do these adaptations allow the Mata Mata to effectively camouflage from danger, but also helps them to become skilled hunters, using their ability to hide to allow them to ambush prey such as fish, crustaceans, and insects. They'll lie motionless on the riverbed floor, with an open mouth waiting for unsuspecting prey to swim too close. And then, when the target approaches, the turtle closes its mouth with lightning speed, creating a vacuum that sucks the prey in. The Mata Mata also has an unusual method of breathing, too, that instead of using the mouth or nostrils, sees them breathe through a specialized tube that extends from its cloaca, the opening used for waste elimination. This adaptation allows the turtle to remain almost completely submerged in water for long periods of time while still being able to breathe. Number 9. The Commodore Dog the Commodore is a large, muscular dog breed that's known for its unique, corded coat that resembles dreadlocks or a mop head. This ancient Hungarian breed was originally developed to protect livestock from predators, and it has a strong and independent personality to match its unusual appearance. The coat serves as both insulation and protection from predators. The cords, which can reach up to a foot or a third of a meter in length, form naturally as the dog's soft, fluffy puppy coat grows, and then naturally separates into strands over time. Owners must take special care to maintain their dog's cords, which can become matted and tangled and painful if not properly cared for. Despite their striking appearance, Commodores are not just show dogs. They've got a strong work ethic and a naturally protective instinct, making them excellent watchdogs and guardians of their family and property. 
They're calm and affectionate with their family, but can be aloof and reserved with strangers, which is why socialization and training from a young age is essential. Commodores are a highly intelligent breed too, but they can be stubborn and independent if they decide to be, which can make them a challenge to train. A firm, consistent approach with positive reinforcement is the best way to train these dogs, and they excel in obedience and agility competitions, as well as being a great guardian of the home. Number 8. Spiny Bush Viper The Spiny Bush Viper is a venomous snake that's found in the tropical rainforests of Central and West Africa. It's a small viper species which typically grows to a maximum length of 11.8 inches or about 30 centimeters, and they're identifiable by their striking coloration and distinctive spiny scales. They take on a beautiful bright green coloration which provides excellent camouflage in their natural habitat of dense rainforest vegetation, but it's the scales along the back and sides that makes them so unusual. These spines are modified scales that have been hardened into sharp projections, and they serve as a defense mechanism against predators. Despite looking cute, it would be unwise to get too close to one, as the spiny bush viper has a venomous bite that's potentially dangerous to humans. They aren't usually aggressive, though, and will normally only bite if they feel cornered and threatened, and they have no choice but to strike. Another unusual trait of this species is the way that they reproduce. Unlike many snakes, which lay eggs, the spiny bush viper gives birth to live young. The female snake typically gives birth between two to eight offspring, which are fully formed and ready to hunt from the moment they're born. Unfortunately, like many species in the rainforest, the spiny bush viper is threatened by habitat loss and degradation, and as human activities continue to encroach on the rainforest, the population of these snakes is decreasing, putting them at risk of extinction. Number 7. The Naked Mole Rat the naked mole rat is a small, unusual mammal that's native to sub-Saharan Africa that's known for its unique appearance, social behavior, and incredible resistance to cancer. They aren't exactly the prettiest of animals thanks to their complete lack of fur, which gives them their name, but this is actually a valuable trait that helps them to survive in the harsh underground environment in which they live. As well as the hairless bodies, naked mole rats have small, sensitive eyes and large incisors, which they use to burrow through the soil in search of food. They are highly social creatures and can live in large colonies of up to 300 individuals, with a single breeding female or queen at the head of the group. The other members of the colony are divided into workers and soldiers, and each has a specific role to play in maintaining the colony, in a hierarchy that's not too dissimilar to that of an ant colony. One of the things that have made naked mole rats so interesting to science, though, is their incredible resistance to cancer. Unlike most mammals, which have a 25-40% to 40 chance of developing cancer during their lifetimes, naked mole rats almost never develop it. This resistance is due in part to the fact that their cells reproduce a high level of a particular type of sugar molecule, which helps to prevent the growth of tumors, and research is underway to see if there's any way to replicate this in humans. Number 6. Red-Lipped Batfish Found in the waters surrounding the Galapagos Islands off the coast of Ecuador, the red-lipped batfish, also known as the Galapagos batfish, is particularly unusual. It belongs to the family Agcosophalidae, which includes 70 species of batfishes, and are typically found at depths between 10 and 250 feet, or about 3 to 76 meters, preferring to stay on rocky and sandy bottoms. They have a flattened body and a wide head, with eyes that are positioned on top, which allow them to look upwards to spot potential prey. They have a dark brown or blackish coloration with a distinctive bright red coloring around their lips and fins. Amazingly, instead of swimming, red-lipped batfishes can walk along the ocean floor. This unique adaptation is achieved through the modification of its pectoral and pelvic fins, which now resemble legs. By using these fins to walk, the fish can move along the floor searching for prey or a mate, while using far less energy than would be needed to swim. Despite their cute appearance, the red-lipped batfish is a carnivorous species and feed on small fish, crustaceans, and other marine invertebrates, often using their red lips to lure in prey which they capture with their large mouths. Number 5. Ai Ai The Ai Ai is a unique primate species that's native to Madagascar and is one of the most interesting and strange primates due to its unusual physical features and behaviors. The scientific name for the Ai Ai is Dobentonia madagascariensis, and it's the only species in its genus. One of the weirdest features of the Ai Ai is its elongated middle finger, which is used to extract insects from trees. This finger is thin, bony, and has a hooked tip that allows the Ai Ai to scrape insects from the bark and inside of the trees. 
To make this more effective, they have large, sensitive ears which allow them to hear grubs moving within tree trunks and target their precise location. The eye eye is a solitary and nocturnal animal, spending most of its time off the ground and in the forest canopy. It's an omnivore, so as well as feeding on insects, will forage for fruit, nuts, and seeds to maintain a balanced diet. Even though they're so unusual and unique, their appearance hasn't exactly worked in their favor with local communities, and they are unfortunately considered endangered due to habitat destruction and hunting. They're often viewed as a pest by the people of Madagascar and are sometimes killed because of their association with bad luck and death. The destruction of the Ai's forest habitat is also a major threat to its survival, and conservation efforts are underway in an attempt to save them from extinction. The Ai is now protected by law in Madagascar, and efforts are being made to educate local communities about the importance of conserving this unique species. In addition, several captive breeding programs have been established to increase the population of the Ai in captivity, and hopefully to reintroduce them into the wild. Number 4. The Halitrophes Jelly the Halitrophes jelly is a species of deep-sea jellyfish that belong to the family Halicretidae. These stunning creatures are recognizable by their bright, colorful tentacles that give them an otherworldly appearance and have often been described as fireworks displays. They're found in the deep waters of the Pacific Ocean, particularly in the region between California and Hawaii, and they're one of the most exciting sights for ocean explorers in the region. The body of these jellies are shaped like a bell and is transparent, which allows light to pass through it. The bell itself can reach up to 12 inches, or just 30 centimeters in diameter, and the tentacles can extend for up to 6.5 feet, or about 2 meters in length. The tentacles are covered in tiny hair-like structures called cilia, which help the jellyfish move through the water and capture their prey. One of the other functions of their tentacles, and part of what makes this such an unusual species, is that they come in a range of bright colors, including pink, purple, and blue. These colors are caused by a pigment they contain called luciferin, which reacts to oxygen to produce light. This bioluminescence makes the jelly visible in the dark depths of the ocean, where it can attract prey and communicate with other members of its species. Their habitat means that it's extremely unlikely for a human to even see one in the water, but they have been captured on camera by deep-sea exploration vehicles a number of times, and several videos of them floating gracefully through the water with their tentacles glowing with an ethereal light in an almost hypnotic way have been captured. Number 3. The Irrawaddy Dolphin the Irrawaddy dolphin is a strange freshwater dolphin species that are found in the rivers and estuaries of the Bay of Bengal, the Mekong River, the Mahakam River, the Ayawardi River, and the Sundarbans mangrove forest in Southeast Asia. It's one of the smallest species of dolphins, measuring up to about 7.5 feet or 2.3 meters in length and weighing up to 440 pounds or about 200 kilograms. They have stocky bodies, unusually round heads, and short, blunt beaks, with a light gray colored skin and no dorsal fin, which makes them easy to identify. One of the surprising things about Irrawaddy dolphins is that the way that they breathe, which is unlike any other dolphin species, they don't jump out of the water to breathe and instead surface vertically with their heads above the water and take quick, shallow breaths. This allows them to breathe without disrupting the water around them, making them less visible to prey and predators. Irrawaddy dolphins are social animals that live in groups of up to 20 individuals and are known to be curious and friendly towards humans, often seen playing with boats and fishermen's nets. They are just as intelligent and capable of problem-solving as other dolphin species, but their habitat in rivers and their curiosity is proving problematic. Unfortunately, Irrawaddy dolphins are currently listed as a vulnerable species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, with their population declining, mainly because they're either caught in fishing nets or their habitat is being destroyed by dam construction, river dredging, and pollution. It's now rare to see them in places where they used to be present in large numbers, and it's feared that they may soon be lost from all but a few regions that remain safe. Number 2. Fossa The fossa, which has the scientific name Cryptoproctopheryx, is a carnivorous mammal that's native to the island of Madagascar. They are the largest predators on the island, so play an important role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Fossas have a sleek and slender build, growing to around 31 inches or 80 centimeters long and weighing up to 22 pounds or about 10 kilos. They have short brown fur, long tails, and sharp claws that allow them to climb trees with ease, along with powerful jaws and sharp teeth that enable them to take down any prey that they want, which can include lemurs, birds, reptiles, and even small mammals. Fossas are solitary animals and are rarely seen in groups. They're both active during the day and at night, whether hunting the trees and on the ground. They're known for their incredible agility, which are amazingly able to jump distances of more than 8 feet, or 2.5 meters from tree to tree, which is invaluable when chasing down a meal. 
Fosses are listed as a vulnerable species due to habitat loss, hunting, and persecution by humans, and they're often killed by farmers who see them as a threat to their livestock. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the fossa and their habitat, including the creation of national parks and reserves, as well as programs to educate local communities about the importance of maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Number 1. Star-Nosed Mole The incredible-looking star-nosed mole, also known as the Condylura cristata, is a small mole that inhabits the wetlands of eastern North America. They're a unique and interesting species, with a star-shaped nose that has 22 fleshy little tentacles. They are relatively small animals, measuring only about 6 inches or 15 centimeters in length, and weighing up to 1 and 3 quarter ounces, or about 50 grams. They've got dark brown fur and large webbed feet that have perfectly adapted them to help swim through the waterlogged soil. And because of the dark environment that they live in, they do have poor eyesight, instead relying on their sense of touch to find their way around and locate prey. These moles are skilled hunters, and they eat a variety of small invertebrates such as insects, worms, and mollusks. They use their nose to detect prey, which they can find and identify quickly, thanks to the tentacles that contain thousands of sensitive receptors, making them very effective at detecting changes in their environment. While the star-nosed mole is not currently considered endangered, it's classified as a species of concern due to the loss and degradation of its wetland habitat. So efforts are being made to protect these wetlands where these moles live by establishing protected areas and restoring degraded habitats. For now, their numbers are stable, but they're extremely rare to see in real life because they spend more than 95% of their lives underground. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.